Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing another massive unboxing. This time around, I'm going to be sharing with you the polishes that I picked up on the 70% off sale from Soya. Which, if I remember correctly, basically all the polishes that I picked up were my favorite polishes that Soya released last year. I am so glad that Soya decided to bring this sale back again this year because this is my kind of sale. I feel like the 70% off sale is the perfect time to pick up all your Soya favorites. Uh, the great thing about Soya is that they don't release like limited time shades. So I highly recommend that you wait till they offer this sale. Plus, you know, they do offer... Uh, free shipping after you purchase X amount of dollars. I can't remember, uh, but uh, yeah, that's what's so good about it. I got free shipping, 70% off, and it's a big order since I don't purchase any other time of the year. So yeah, there's a lot of polish here. I haven't even picked in here. Literally, I just opened the box and that's so you guys can't see my address. But yeah, let's go ahead and dig in. We have quite a few sets. I cannot remember what I ordered if I'm being brutally honest with you guys but i know that they are my favorite releases of 2019 because that's that's what i did as i was ordering i just basically uh went through all the collections that soya released last year and picked my favorites from each collection so here we have the first six hopefully this doesn't take that long since each polish is in an individual box in case you never order from soya this is how they come and if you order uh multiples uh, they come in a bigger box to protect them and you do get a lot of this um packaging things uh which you can put underwater and they dissolve uh but anyway yeah i like i said most of these polishes are going to be releases from 2019 but there might be some just polishes that i've been wanting for a while um so in my mind i think all of these are 2019 releases but we'll see i mean i, ca I can't even remember what polishes were released last year so the first one here is a beautiful blue cream this is in the shade elliot and i've been eyeing this polish for so long this is honestly a lot more prettier in person than i thought it was going to be such a gorgeous shade of blue you guys know i love my blues let's go on to the next one i'm just gonna kind of go as fast as i can you guys since there is a lot of polish here let's see Ooh, this this one was not released last year this one was released uh 2018 holiday that i do remember because i wanted this pixie dust for so long look how gorgeous it is this is juniper oh my goodness this is so pretty you guys so much prettier in person too i'm so happy that i finally have this 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 is my kind of shade oh my goodness this is so exciting up next let's see what we got i think it's another cream i already saw the name yeah this is vesper and it's like a dusty purple lots of gray in this purple again that's vesper it's just the cream and it's gorgeous oh my goodness so beautiful well, this two are so stunning i can't okay i'm gonna try to keep moving because there's a lot of polish let's see what else what else did i get and you can see the names of the polish down here, but of course I'm trying to avoid that so that I'm surprised with you guys at the same time as you guys are. Uh, but over here we have another dusty shade. I was obviously feeling these kind of shades. It's like similar a uh, dustiness to Vesper, except this one is more blue. And who are you? This is Airy or Air. And I think this was part of their spring collection last year maybe again don't quote me on that but look at how beautiful it is and it is very different from vesper so i mean totally needed both of them because they're so different next up all of this i'm just gonna put into recycling when i'm done filming so that's why i'm not being too careful with the boxes oh yeah this was one of my favorites last well all of them were but this one i just knew i had to have it i couldn't wait any longer this is etta and I mean, just look at this metallic -y, dark, vampy beautifulness. Oh my gosh, this is so sexy. Wow. This reminds me of my favorite Soya ever, um, Jasmine. But this is like the red burgundy version of it. So pretty. We'll see how it applies. Let's see. I'm just going to drop everything on the floor, guys. Because this is going to get messy really quick. <laughs> okay, up next whoa another dusty what 
Oh gosh. It's the same polish. I, oh my gosh, I hate it when I do this. I ordered two Vespers. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, you know what that means. Uh, one of them is for you guys. I'll put that on my giveaway pile, which it's getting bigger since I keep purchasing polishes I don't need or I keep purchasing doubles on accident like you just witnessed. Oh my gosh. That's, I need to be more careful when I'm placing my orders, you guys. <laughs> Okay, so here are the next six. Hopefully, we don't get any more doubles. I mean, I love getting polishes for you guys, but, you know, you don't ever... I mean, I'm not a backup girl, so I don't need doubles of anything. Oh, my goodness. This is stunning. Look at how bright this shade is. And this is Eleni. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's so bright, you guys. Oh my goodness, this is going to be gorgeous. This is definitely an eye-catching cream. You know, sometimes you don't need like all the flakies, all the hollow. Sometimes all you need is a good cream. And I think this is one of those super eye-catching creams. I cannot wait to wear this. This is so vibrant. I love it. So pretty. Stunning. I think that was part of the... You know what? I'm not even going to try to guess. Never mind. Forget I was even starting that sentence. Oh my gosh, yes. I love this one. This is Fern. Sorry, there it is. And it's, oh my gosh, this is so stunning. It's like a grayed out green again with that beautiful goldish, greenish kind of shimmer. Look at that. I hope it really translates to the nail because it looks gorgeous just here in the bottle. Oh my gosh, love it. What else? See. Oh, I already saw the name on the side. <laughs> of course, I needed this one. Can you all guess what this is? It was a favorite of many last summer. Uh, I mean, of course, I totally understand why. This shade is stunning. This right here is Walker. Hi, Walker. Just looking at it in the bottle, I, I get it. I get why everybody went bonkers over this blue. It's so vibrant. I don't think it's coming across on my camera like as vibrant as it truly is in person this is stunning you guys walker oh my goodness wow i'm so happy like i'm looking at my little bundle here and i'm so happy with every single polish let's see up oh yeah another one of those super bampy delicious uh foily metallic kind of finish from soya this is in the shade Sedona, and I love brown polish, and this one just goes there. And you know what? In fact, I think this one is more similar to Jasmine than uh, the previous one, Etta, because this one actually has, like, a different, like, duochrome kind of thing going on. It's not very strong. It's definitely not the reason why I got it. I got it mostly because of the shade, like, the brownie base in this polish, but... Yeah, as you can see, they're completely different. I hope it's really coming across. Um, sorry, I hope it's really translating on camera that they are completely different shades. This is more brown, and this is definitely more of a red. Oh my gosh, they're stunning, you guys. So, so pretty. Up next, we have, let's see. Oh, yeah, a topper. This is Dallas, and I had to get it because, you know, I'm from Dallas, and I, I honestly just... I honestly just got this for the name, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, do I need another topper like this? No. But Soya stepping out of their comfort zone and bringing us uh, some toppers last year was truly a highlight, in my opinion, for the company. I think I love that they're being innovative. I love that they're bringing new things to the table. And yeah, I had to get Dallas. I cannot wait to try this over practically anything. I mean, you can never go wrong with this kind of topper. It goes with everything. So I know I'm going to be getting a lot of use out of that one. And this one, let's see. Oh, this polish is a favorite of many as well. This is Astrid. And it's been compared to uh, one very famous OPI. I, I cannot remember the name of that OPI. I think GoldenEye or something like that. Uh, so I wanted to try it. I don't own the OPI either, but if I can get something that's very similar to it, I'm okay with it. I don't necessarily hunt down lemmings or like hard to find polishes unless I'm like really obsessed with it, which I was not practically obsessed with that OPI, but I know it's a favorite of many. So I wanted to try Soya's version 
and uh yeah it's so pretty i can totally see why a lot of people love this shade it's definitely my kind of gold i love this kind of gold so let's move on here's another six pack of polish my goodness so much polish you guys let's see oh actually this one only has five yeah this one only has five okay so let's start with this one Can y'all guess which one this is? This was another favorite from 2019 of many. It's Soya's B. And oh my gosh, this is a beautiful shade of yellow. I get it, guys. I mean, I have to try the formula, right? But I get why everybody went bonkers for this color. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness. Really, really looking forward to trying this one. I love yellow polish. I don't wear it as often as I should, but I love it. And this one, I'm going to try to open it carefully so I can put the extra polish like the one that i'm gonna give you guys i'm gonna put it in this box just so that it stays safe for the future giveaway anyway so this one is marcy and i usually don't go for this kind of shades but all those watches look so good i mean i love this color don't get me wrong but the finish it's one that I'm not particularly like a big fan of. I mean, I like it, but you know, it's not my favorite. Uh, but the swatches got me on this one. I had to get it. The swatches were stunning. I love a good, vibrant, glowy nail, and it looks like this one's gonna deliver. So that again is Marcy. And just look at how pretty and glowy it looks in the bottle. Okay, let's see. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is another one from Holiday 2018. Yeah. Look at this teal. Look at this teal, you guys. I mean, you, you, I, mean I can't. This is in the shade Donica. This is just so stunning. I'm a sucker for this kind of shades. It's, wow, it's so pretty, you guys. It's like, I mean, I can't stop staring at this bottle. I heard this is a stainer, but honestly, I wouldn't mind because the color is so I mean, I'm speechless. That's how much I love this polish. I mean, wow, I cannot. If you love teal, I highly recommend you get this one, guys. It's stunning. Okay, let's see. Oh, my gosh, this one sucked. Oh, oh I see why, because I'm opening them from the bottom, duh. Okay, anyway, look at this blue. This is another favorite from this hol from holiday 2019. I know that for sure. And this is Jen. Oh, M G, look at that oh my gosh this is glowy but bampy at the same time very mysterious rich kind of blue totally different from all the other blues i have here i mean it definitely stands out as a glowy blue you see that it's so stunning oh my gosh i cannot wait to put this on my nails look at this wow uh, oh my gosh, I can't. I fell in, I mean, I was all over this polish and a lot of people were lo loving this polish. So it's a blue. It's like, okay, not much convincing needing there. I, I get you. So I'm going to try it. And I'm so glad that I have it. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, who are you? Oh, yeah. You know me. I love a good uh, black sharkly kind of polish. And this is it. This is Ashton. And it's like a metallic-y charcoal polish. I love this kind of colors. You guys know I've said it multiple times. This looks like the perfect uh, New Year's kind of mani because it's shiny, but it's dark. It's, wow, everything I love in a dark polish, really. It's so pretty, guys. Again, that is Ashton. Oh, my gosh. I'm so happy with my haul. I have no idea how happy I am. See, here's another one. What is this? Oh, uh, let me see. I don't know what this is, you guys. Okay, I love the packaging on this one. Oh, wow, I even get a fancy box. Wow. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Look at this. 
These are the hollows. The two, I think they're all the newish hollows. Yeah. This is Brighton. It's the, the nude one. And then one of this is Everly. I know that. Yeah, this one is Everly. Oh my gosh, look at this color, you guys. It's so pretty. And then next to it is the pink one. Oh, okay, this is like such a beautiful shade of pink. This is Cadence. You know, I, I was a little bit on the fence about this polish, but they were selling this as a trio. And, you know, with the 70% off, so you got like a lot of savings without, um, if you purchase this set. So it was a great deal. Uh, so I, that's why I decided to just go for it, even though I was not sure about this one. But now that I'm looking at this here in person, this is actually a beautiful shade of pink. I can totally get on board with this pink. I thought it was going to be lighter for some reason. Uh, but this one, oh my gosh. This is just so pretty. I have yet to try Soya Hollows. I own a few, but they're on my untried stash. But I've heard so many good things about them that... I'm already collecting them, you guys. And these ones are going to stay in this box because it's very fancy. I love that. This is actually, this would have been a good Christmas gift, you guys. Um, just the box itself is like so nice. And it's kind of like magnetized. It's so pretty. Okay, so what else? Is there anything else? I really don't want to have to drop this on my floor because then I'm going to be cleaning forever. I think that's it, you guys. Yeah, I just see my invoice at the very bottom. I just checked my invoice, so that's it, you guys. The rest is just uh, information that Soya likes to send out. I'll take a look at this later when I'm done filming this video. I obviously didn't keep count since I'm unboxing this, but I will put the total number of polishes that I actually just unboxed with you guys here on the screen. And I just want to let you know that I got all of this for $60. Again, with free shipping, it was $60. I just looked at my invoice. I think that's an amazing deal considering that each polish on its own retails for $10. So... I'm very happy with my haul, and since I actually finished uh, unboxing this a little bit early than I thought, I wanted to show you the two other Soyas that I've been meaning to haul since last fall, <laughs> and I just never got around to it. Uh, last fall, before they had the 70% off sale, they had a promotion where you get two polishes for free, all you had to do was pay shipping, and shipping was like $6.50 to my area. And I thought that was an amazing deal. If you do the math, each polish was practically $3.25, which is, again, a really good price for me. I love a good savings. Of course, the 70% off sale is much better because you get them all for $3 practically. But uh, for $3.25, I thought it was an amazing deal. And so I picked up two uh, when that promotion was going around. Let me show them. So here they are. And the first one that I got is one that I've been wanting for the longest time ever since it was released this is in the shade rachel and it's another one of those vampy shades that i love so much you guys this is so stunning i have yet to wear it but i mean i'm so happy this polish makes me so happy every time i look at it it's just such a beautiful shade and it's been calling my name since its release date so i'm so happy that i finally managed to pick it up again for an amazing price and the other one that I got is another one that I've had my eye on for years now. So I'm so happy that I finally remembered to pick it up because I usually forget about it for some reason. But this is in the shade Wednesday. Again, I feel like this is another very popular shade and I can totally see why. I mean, it's stunning. My bottle's starting to get like ugly bottle syndrome. Can you guys see that? It just needs a little bit of shaking. It's been on its side in my closet for like, again, like, probably four months or more <laughs> and I just want to do a quickly a uh, quick I just want to do a quick bottle comparison with Eleni which I just unboxed they're completely different polishes as you can see this one definitely has more uh of a dusty green quality to it and this is like a bright bright blue lots of white in this polish so yeah guys with that um those are all the new soyas that I've recently purchased um Basically, in this haul, you got to see all my favorite polishes that were released in 2019. I hope they do this sale again uh, towards the end of 2020 so that I can pick up all my favorites of 2020 as well. If you missed this sale or any of the sales, I highly recommend that you follow them on Instagram. They're really good about posting their sales on there. With all of that being said, these are not the only Soyas that I recently picked up. I actually managed to pick up, I want to say, around 15 polishes on Mercury, um, and they were like... I got all 15 Soyas 
uh, for like 10 bucks. It was like a steal, you guys. I couldn't leave that behind. And they're all soyas. They all look really good. They're gently used. Uh, so if you're interested in seeing those polishes that I got from Mercury, uh, I got those probably last summer. Yeah, I know. I, I'm so behind on my hauls, you guys. So please let me know if you're interested in seeing that Mercari haul. Um, they're very unique polishes from Soya that I personally wouldn't have purchased on my own. But since they were practically given away, I mean, $10 plus free shipping, I had to get them. So if you want to see that a little out of my comfort zone haul from Soya, let me know. And if you participated on this or any of Soya's amazing sales, let me know in the comments down below which ones you picked up. In my opinion, I got the best of the best of 2019 in this little haul. But if you have another favorite from 2019 that I didn't pick up, please let me know. You guys have amazing recommendations. And I've always say this in my hauls, a lot of my polishes that I picked up are because of you and your recommendations never disappoint. As always, you guys, thank you so much for sticking around. Thank you for watching this video. If this is your first time around here, don't forget to subscribe for future videos. I upload videos every week. Thank you so much for your support. Have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you on my next video.